Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Squidward from Spongebob Squarepants. So let's get started. To draw Squidward, let's start by drawing a curve that goes over his eyes. So I'm going to start right here and just draw a soft curve over. And then from there, I'm going to find the center and come over a little bit. And I'm going to draw basically two ovals for his eyes. So they're really long ovals. And come back right up. So same thing over here. We're just joining these two ovals together. There. And then let's come inside. We're going to draw two rectangles on each. I mean, one rectangle on each eye. So just right in the center, about right here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. Same thing over here. So the color of his eyes is kind of like a burgundish like a reddish brownish color but just for this video I'm going to color it in black so it's easier for you to see but if you're going to color him just uh, make this kind of like a reddish color. Now that we have his eyes in let's come in between the eyes right here and we're going to draw his nose. So I'm going to come right in between and draw a small curve and then I'm going to bring this down right here. A curve for his long like an avocado shaped nose. <laughs> There's a long curve and then just round it off at the bottom. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's come back up here where the eyes are. Right underneath the eye, I'm going to draw a soft curve. Kind of like a line, straight line. And curve it a little bit so it's not too stiff. About that much and then from there I'm going to come about right here underneath this line and I'm going to draw a curve right underneath. I'm going to bring it out and curve it around and bring it in to about there. So I'm going to tuck that right underneath his nose and so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to come right over, just come right over and draw the same thing. There. And then let's come inside and we're going to draw his mouth. So right here on both sides, two little curves and then I'm just going to go ahead, imagine this going over, I mean being overlapped by the nose and then coming right back down. So what I forgot here, I made a mistake. That line it's not supposed to go through all the way. So right here I'm just going to go ahead and erase that. Sorry about that. So it's just supposed to stop about right there. There. Much better, right? <laughs> okay, so when you're drawing this line, when, after you draw this line, just come about right here and then draw the curve. Don't go all the way through to the nose. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's come over here, kind of in the center of this eye, and we're going to start to draw his um, big head. So I'm just going to drag a point across since it's pretty big so I know where I'm going to on the other side. And I'm going to draw kind of like a big oval. So this is my center. This about right here is going to be my highest point. So about right there. My highest point and then I'm going to start to come down. All the way around and back to my point. Okay, so then let's come in here. We're going to give him some crease um, wrinkle lines. So right under above this curve, let's draw two more curves and then a shorter one right here. And Squidward does have some uh, little age spots right here on his head. You can do that when you're coloring it because um, they're kind of like a darkish greenish blue color. So I'm going to leave that as is and I'm going to come up here and draw his uh, hat. So let's come about right here in the center. And I'm going to draw a little curve up, kind of like a little tongue. Give it a little flap. And then right about here, I'm going to draw the top of the hat. Just like a SpongeBob, the one I just did. So if you love SpongeBob Square Pants, please make sure to check out the playlist. So now that the main shape of the hat is done, let's draw the little anchor logo right here. So it's just basically a um, circle 
I'm going to come down with a line to draw my anchor. And then right here, I'm just going to draw a curve. Give a little arrow on both ends and then a line right here. Just a simplified version. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much done. Now let's come and draw his body. So right underneath his nose, we're going to draw his neck. So it's a pretty long neck. So say about that much. And I'm going to come right in between right out here and draw a curve that comes to the center to surround his neck. And then we're going to start to draw his collar. So come back out here and we're going to draw his collar and come in. So same thing over here. Straight down and up. So just an indication of his collar. And then let's start to, um, right underneath his collar, I'm going to come right here, give myself two points, kind of like where his armpits would be, and I'm going to draw two angle lines. Then let's come back up here, we're going to draw his sleeves right in between. So come right here, shoulder, and then in for his sleeve. So same thing here, and his sleeve. Okay, so now we're done with that. Let's come bring this down a little bit more. But right there, I'm going to connect it with a curve. And then let's draw his little bottom. <laughs> so right underneath here, we're going to come in and draw a curve on both sides. And let's see here. Bring this in a little bit more. And then we're just going to imagine this being a complete curve, but we're going to skip a little bit of space and then just come right here and draw a little curve. So then from this curve, we're going to go straight down right in the center with a line. We're going to start to draw his legs. So now let's bring this in. He has very skinny legs. So let's come right here and we're going to continue that line. And let's see here. Let's bring this down more. And about right there, I'll stop. And I'm going to bring out a curve all the way out for his foot. And then bring it back in for curve. And then let's see here. I'm going to start to curve this in and back to the center. So then about right here is where I'm going to end my line. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So curve out. And we're going to curve up. So I'm just going to drag a point across. Oops, about right there. And once again, same thing, curve and bring it in. Then from there, let's come over here in the back right here. We're going to draw indication of his other feet. So right here, back here as well. And it's coming here for some detail. So right at this point right here, let's draw a curve that comes down. And then right here, he has some sucker suckers. So they're blue, but I'm just going to draw them for you here with my Sharpie so you can see it. It's just basically three ovals. Okay, so then now his arms. So right here, I'm going to come back, kind of following this angle. Then we're going to bring it about right here. I'm going to come in here, draw a curve, and curve it out and bring it in for his tentacle arms. So same thing over here. And come out once again. Curve and bring it back there. And let's see if I'm missing anything. Oh, of course, let's give <laughs> Squidward here a little heart on his shirt. Because Squidward can be very sweet too, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so there, hope you love how my Squidward turned out. And if you love SpongeBob SquarePants, please uh, make sure to check out, check out that playlist. And thanks so much for watching. And please subscribe so you won't miss any new Drawstick Cute videos. See you later.